Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and today I'm going to be finishing off that review of that lovely um, bread that I made yesterday. I've, I've already had one slice of it, but I'm going to have another slice. I'm also going to have for lunch today da -da 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 -da, a Moroccan vegetable pasty, which is a vegan pasty. So I managed to find a vegan pasty. How cool is that? And uh, well, let's have a look at the heating instructions. The oven's already on. And I got preheat oven to 180, done for a fan assisted oven 160. Oops, I better turn it down to 160. Don't want to over, over egg it there. It's going to be uh, from chilled 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. Uh, this fat contains uh, 22 grams of uh, fat. Oh, per 100 grams. So it's 22% fat. It's not too bad. Not too great. Oh, the cat has brought in a bee which it's eating. I've never understood why cats eat bees. Our cat is particularly uh, fond of eating bees. Oh, there we go. That's what the pasty looks like. Not particularly bad. Not great either. It appears to be made from two different bits of pastry. I wonder, sometimes these lines in them, you may think they're random, but sometimes they're there specifically to denote two different types of pasty, like you get wiggles or scrapes. I don't think that's one of those. Maybe these uh, bumps are what denotes it. It's made of a puff pastry. It's quite hard fitting. It smells like a normal pasty, so it's got that potato sort of uh, beefy type smell to it, even though it's obviously vegan, it's completely meat free. Apparently it contains butternut, squash, chickpeas, pecan peppers and dates. That's how they've got that smell and flavour out with it. Quite an intri intriguing combination to be honest. Let's keep the packet here. Let's get it over to the oven. La -de -de -da -da -da. And in the oven it goes. Okay kitty. And while we wait, we're uh, back to the bread. Let me get a bread knife and uh, let's try a slice. Well, this bread knife is tearing the bread to pieces. It's a bit too fluffy and light. So I often find with a bread maker, it can make some really weird breads. Let's just try this. Mm, the question is what to have it with. Well, just some simple clover, and I think that'll be it. Kind of busting the whole vegan nature of this video. Right, while well, the pasty warms up, Alexa, 15 minute timer. 15 minutes, starting now. Let's have a quick taste of what this bread is like. Mmm, <laughs> not bad. Mmm, mmm, that really good. Okay, let's come back when the uh, pasty's done. Yay, the pasty's ready. Let's take it out and try it. Oh, smells nice. Here we go, this is what it looks like. Seems to have cooked quite well. Nice colour to it. It's browned out quite nicely. There's a, a really dark patch in the front here where I think the pastry was a lot slimmer. Let's get the camera down closer. Mm. Let's get a plate. You should never do that. You should always use an oven glove. Yeah, that melted the plastic pan out of there. <laughs> right. Let's get a knife and fork and see what this tastes like. So it's fresh out of the oven, so I'm expecting it to be quite warm. It's quite colourful on the inside. It smells really nice. Mm -hmm. Look on the inside here. It smells like peppers and dates and all sorts of wonderful things. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.
Not bad at all. Hmm. Gonna put some tomato ketchup with it though. It's a little bit dry. Because pasties often can be. I think the tomato ketchup, but whereas it doesn't taste like it's got meat, it certainly does it's certainly got something to it. It's got that edge of a beef-like flavour, even though there's no meat in it. Mmm. The sharp vinegary flavour of the uh, and fruity flavour of the tomato ketchup really sets it off much better than you expect. Absolutely fantastic. Mmm. I have these again, much like the uh, vegan Moroccan um, Rustler's Burger. This is hitting all the same notes on flavour, and it's really nice. Mmm. Mmm. I like this food trend. It's one of those ones I can really buy into. Yum yum. Mmm. The combination of vegetables is sublime. Uh, this is one of the best ones I've eaten in ages. Mmm. Well, I would suggest you try this one. I think it's a really nice alternative. And uh, I haven't eaten it cold yet. But eating it from the oven, it was fantastic. Heated for 15 minutes at 160 degrees centigrade. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. And uh, if you could subscribe, that would be great. Bye.